long ago. Let's take a look at this. Our transportation gallery, you will see many vehicles that are that were created and were used anywhere between 1908 to 1980. Behind me is one of uh, the old vehicles that are here. As you may see, it's the oil carrier. Here we are with Jacob Fusel's carriage. Jacob Fusel is acclaimed to be the father of the ice cream industry. Uh, he used to be a dairyman. After carrying the milk around for so long, uh, one of the interesting things happened was the milk would sour or the milk would change. Eventually, in 1851, he started the, the ice cream industry. Huge truck uh, from the early 1920s. It is huge because it's made of wood, but it also is huge because it had to carry the dry ice to keep the meat fresh for its various deliveries. SK is a combination of two gentlemen's names. One is William Schluderberg, and the other man's name was Thomas Kirtle. They took the S from Schluderberg, the K from Kirtle. They put them together, SK, or and it is spelled out phonetically, E-S-S-K-A-Y. Speaking of Ma Bell, oh, I got a call. Oh, not really, CMP. Anyway, this is a CMP truck from the early 1920s. 1920s between 1920 and 1930. Um, it was retired, but believe it or not, Chesapeake and Ohio's uh, company colors were gray. It was later on painted green. It only carried one person, the operator. Wow, look at this vehicle here. It's one of the, uh, I should say, the newest vehicles. It was the Spicer Production vehicle, how the Spicer Production, made here in Baltimore, a company that was really good in the early years in Baltimore, well, the early years in 1980, um, how they, the messengers used to carry information as well as film here in Baltimore. Uh, it's an electric vehicle, which made it a whole lot different. It was very efficient. And we're also very proud of the Spicer Company. This is a 1947 Ford truck. It's a one ton. Um, we've actually matched it to the original cream uh, colors from the early 1947s. There was a lot of Art Deco, so to speak. It's a, a great truck, and from time to time, it has appeared in uh, several Thanksgiving Day parades. Also behind me, you might notice the Crown Oil uh, pump. Crown Oil was a company that was very popular here in Baltimore in the very early 1900s. They still or were working on one of the uh, buildings that's on, one is on Charles Street and then there's another oil company uh, building on St. Paul Place. And also you may notice the wonderful insurance uh, sign. It's a great neon sign. Baltimore made very many great neon signs in the early 60s and 50s, and this is one of the few that you might see here at the Baltimore Museum of Industry. This is the Davidson Transfer. This is a early moving van. Um, initially, one of the Davidsons, he opened up his business on Utah Street. He used uh, about 10 feet on the curb of Utah. He actually advertised that they would move their people's housing and furniture to four major cities, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, Baltimore, and New York. The company now is, as you may see, also it was on German Street. German Street later on has become Redwood Street here in Baltimore City. Hofburger industry has been around since 18, at least 1882. They used to carry coal and ice and various products, including wood. Now they just use uh, the Hofburg name for oil. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this part of the tour here at the Transportation Gallery. Oh, welcome back.